I am Brother Matthew. Thank you for tuning in once again. He will lift up Jesus Delivered by our General Superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumoye. That's how the devil deceived Eve and started with a question. But he came to steal. He came to kill. He came to destroy. And before he finished his work, he has stolen the joy of the people away. He has stolen the happiness of the people away. And then he succeeded in driving them out of the Garden of Eden. And that's what he still does today. When the devil comes to you, and he comes presenting something to you, and see what he's presenting to you will do you good. He wants to steal your joy. He wants to steal your happiness. He wants to steal the satisfaction you have. He wants to steal your health away. He wants to steal your property away. He wants to steal your children. He wants to steal your prosperity. But Jesus said, But I am come that you might have life. Everybody say life. And life more abundantly. That's what Jesus came to give. And he came to give that as a gift. He requires nothing from you. And as you present yourself to him tonight, and you stretch out your hand of faith, I say, yes, Lord, I'm here. I know you know me. You know where I'm standing. You know why I came here tonight. You know what I'm asking for tonight. I came so I can have the gift you have brought for me. And then he will give you the gift of life. And the gift of abundant life. You will suddenly come alive tonight. Come alive tonight. When I say come alive. A-L-I-B-E. A for ability. When you come alive. He gives you ability in your life. And he says, here I am. I come to make you alive. Before Christ comes to you, the devil has stolen your health, has stolen your strength, has stolen your power, has stolen your authority. And Christ says, I come. I come to make you alive. And he gives you ability. And he gives you liberty. A year before you meet Christ, and before the gift of God comes to your life, you are tied, you are bound, you are caged, you are limited, you are restrained, and then comes Christ to make you alive, and he gives you A for ability, and he gives you L for liberty, and he gives you I for identity. He makes a nobody somebody. You didn't have any identity before. You just said, that man, no identity. That woman, no identity. They say, that fellow, no identity. They say, that beggar, no identity. When Christ comes to your life, and he makes you alive, there is ability. There is liberty. There is identity. And you become a child of God. You become a follower of Christ. And something definite comes into your life. And it gives you the beep of vitality. The strength of the Almighty God comes to your life. And the power of the Lord comes to your life. And it gives you vitality. 
and he, he gives you equality. You are not inferior to anybody anymore. Equality. You are the child of a king. And when we sit on the table, you sit on the table. You are not crawling under the table anymore. You are not looking for the crumbs that the dogs are eating anymore. He lifts you up. And he gives you equality. You are just like David before him. You are just like Isaiah before him. You are just like Daniel before him. And you can stand shoulder to shoulder with Peter. You can stand shoulder to shoulder with John the Beloved. Because when Christ comes to your life, he gives you ability. He gives you liberty. He gives you identity. He gives you vitality. And praise the Lord, he gives you equality. That's why we are here tonight. And all is a gift before the Lord. How do we have the gift before the Lord? Because, you know, if we make announcement to you, I will say there is a gift here. And you need to receive the gift. You will be asking us, how do I go there? How do I get there? How do I receive the gift? I know it's for me. I had the announcement. I got the invitation. I want it. You want the gift? I said you want the gift. The gift of life and abundant life. I am called that they might have life. That they might have it more abundantly. How do you have the gift? You know, when I was in school, if our teacher wanted to illustrate that something was very, very simple, and if any of us was not getting it, he will make his face somehow, and he will say, why didn't you understand this? And then he will say, but it is as simple as, your teacher told you the same thing. The teacher will say, it's as simple as A, B, C. And tonight, I want to tell you, receiving the gift of God is as simple as A, B, C. A, accept. B, believe. And C, confess. As simple as that. As simple as that. To receive the gift of God. A. Accept. B. Believe. C. Confess. When you take those simple steps, the gift of God will come to your life. A. Accept. Accept Jesus. As many as received him. To them he gave power. To become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. All you have to do tonight. Is to accept Christ. Accept Jesus as he's presented to you. He is presented to you as the savior of the world. And as you come to Christ tonight. And you take the first A step. I receive Jesus. Number one, as my Savior. I accept Him as my Savior. Then the salvation of the Lord will come to you. All you need to do, realize you are a sinner. And your sin has separated between you and the Almighty God. And then you realize that Jesus died for you on the cross of Calvary. So that He can take all your sins away. And they'll say, yes, Lord, I come. I give my life to you. I take the first step. A, accept Jesus as Savior. Accept him as healer, number two. Because Jesus Christ heals the sick. He is the healer of the sick. The Bible tells us by his stripes, 
were healed. When the evening was calm, when the evening was calm, they brought unto him all those who were sick, all those who were tormented of the devil, and Jesus healed them all. Because healing is a gift. And all you have to do is just accept him as your healer. Number one, you accept him as your savior. Number two, you accept him as your healer. Number three, you accept him as your deliverer. He breaks the yoke in your life. He destroys the curse from your life. He sets you free from every bondage in your life. Christ came so that he can deliver you. He came so that he can break all the chains of your life. And tonight, as you take the A step, and you accept him as your deliverer, immediately you are going to be delivered. The chains and the shackles in your life are going to be broken in Jesus' name. Number four, you receive him as your liberator. He came to liberate you. He liberates you within your spirit. There are times there are people that will feel bound in their spirit. They are tied up in their spirit. And they do not know how to move forward. They are restrained, they are restricted, they are tied up. But Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And if the Son, the Son of God, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. He came to liberate us. Some years ago, I was in Togo. And those who are watching from Togo now, they will remember that this man was a, a medical doctor. He would have been the medical director in the country. But he was bound by alcohol. And he couldn't really make it. And he would be totally drunk. A medical doctor. And we are having a program in Togo. The wife had pleaded with him, please come. And he said, yes, I'm coming. And uh, while he was coming, he saw a bar, by the way. And he barged at the bar and became totally drunk. He forgot himself that he was coming to our program. And we finished the preaching. Everything was over. Then he remembered. Ah, uh, there's a program for me to attend. And the man was drunk. And he staggered into the venue of the program. And even though we had finished preaching and praying, I was counseling some people. And uh, our leader there pleaded with me. And he said, please, we know that you have labored so much and you might be tired, but please, if you don't see any other person, see this man. And he told me about the problem. And I said, let him come in. I was sitting down. And when he appeared at the table, so when he appeared at the door, if, if, you, if you have sharp, um, smelling uh, ability, you will be able to see. He, you can tell the man was drunk. The alcohol was oozing out. And I could see that the man was drunk already. So he, he sat down, looking at me, and I was looking at him. He couldn't explain himself. He was totally drunk. And so I didn't wait for him to make explanation. The wife had told us before that she, he was coming. And the leader told me now that he has come. So I knew his story. So I just said, you have come to meet Jesus Christ, the liberator. And I said, in Jesus' name, you are liberated. 
It didn't take us two minutes. And I released him. I said, you can go. And the man became sober. I got a message from Togo after that time. He tried to drink. He became totally bitter. He couldn't drink anymore. The Lord liberated him. Jesus is Savior. Jesus is healer. Jesus is deliverer. Jesus is liberator. And you take the first step, the eighth step, accept him. Number five is a protector. There are many people that are thinking if I come out of the secret cult, if I come out of the gang, what will happen to me? Nothing bad will happen to you. Because Jesus is your protector, he will protect you. Whatever they do, it will not catch you anymore. You will be totally protected by the blood of the Lamb. The devil will not be able to harm you. Evil spirits will not be able to harm you. Evil men will not be able to harm you. Because you have accepted Jesus as your protector. He is our Savior. And tonight the Lord is calling you. That you will take that step and accept him as Savior. He is our healer. And the Lord is bringing the gift of healing to you today. That you will accept him as your healer. He is your deliverer. And the Lord is coming to you today. With the gift of deliverance. That you will accept him as your deliverer. He is your liberator. And the Lord is telling you tonight. I will break every yoke in your life. I will destroy the works of the devil. And he comes to liberate you. He is your protector. And he says, come. I have come to give you a gift. And I'm going to protect your life. Number six is your provider. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You will never lack anything in your life. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He will prepare a table before you. In the presence of your enemy. He will anoint your head. Your cup will run over. Running over. Running over. Running over. The jobless will have job. The one that doesn't have anything to do, a job is coming your way in Jesus' name. He will feed the hungry. He will satisfy your want. Because Jesus is your provider. I want you to say, yes, Lord, I take the first step. 